Okay, welcome to lecture six. Today we'll be deriving the singular value decomposition for compact operators uh, between Hilbert spaces. So um, for the following, I will more or less always assume that K is a compact operator, compact linear operator from X to Y and X and Y are Hilbert spaces. Um, to prove the uh, existence theorem for singular value decompositions, I will take a very, very classical approach. Um, this is not the modern approach that is uh, usually used in other lectures. Um, so uh, to get a different approach to this, you might want into the um, lectures by Benedict Wirth or Martin Burger. The scripts are available. Uh, on the web pages of uh, the department. But the nice thing about the classical approach is that uh, I don't have to borrow anything from functional analysis. Rather, I will just prove everything uh, as it comes by. And um, also, I will be able to use some lemmas and prove some lemmas that we will use all the time. And uh, I will prove them as well. And two of these are, hopefully you know about these, these are Bessel's uh, inequality. And the first one is Bessel's inequality. OK, and uh, for that, we don't even need an operator. Rather, it's uh, something about orthonormal systems. So assume that UK is an orthonormal system. And uh, in the following, I will assume that it's an infinite system. but. Um, or well, if it's finite, then uh, everything becomes uh, self-evident anyway. So um, let uh, yeah, um, well, I should do this correctly. So this is two point twenty-two. Bessel's inequality. And. Um, let oops okay an orthonormal system in a Hilbert space X and uh, let U in X then the norm of U squared and of course that's the normal uh, norm derived from the scalar product is larger or equal to the sum over all i u i over u squared. Um, now let me first mention that oops and this is the sum from one to infinity. Uh, let me first mention that uh, for any finite um, series, we have, of course, that this is The sum over all alpha i u i scalar product alpha i u i. Uh, now, since uh, the um, the UK are an orthonormal system, we have that uh, u i and oh, maybe I should put j here. We have that the uh, scalar product of u i and u j is zero for i not equal to j and one. Uh, if i is equal to uh, j, so what this is all immediately this, uh, the sum over alpha i squared, scalar product of ui and ui, and that's one. And that's something we'll always also use. Now, the second thing is uh, we have that uh, the norm of u minus the sum from 1 to n, u over ui times ui, two norm squared. This is definitely larger or equal to 0. 
Um, that's the same as uh, well, the scalar product of that with itself. So i uh, just give you the result. Of course, that's the norm of u, norm of u squared minus two times the mixed product. So that's the sum of one to n u over ui. And uh, now again, the, we take the scalar product. So that's another u over ui. And uh, the right hand and the the, the right um, part of the sum gives us the norm of u and ui ui squared. So this is again sum of one to n u over ui squared times the norm of ui, and uh, uh, that's um, the, the norm of ui, and that's one. Okay, we see that this is the same as the norm of u squared minus sum from 1 to n, u of u, u scalar product of u and ui squared. And this obviously means that the sum over u and ui squared is small or equal to the norm of u to norm of u squared. And uh, that, of course, means that the sum exists and u over ui squared is also small or equal to the two norm of u squared. Now, since this is a monotonically increasing uh, series that is bounded, uh, by, uh, bounded above, so uh, it must exist, and so that's great. Okay, um, and that's what that's what we wanted to prove. Now, second thing, um, yeah, that's 